I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. What can I interest you in today? I trust it's all here. I hope it's to your liking. I trust it's all here. Ah, yes. I trust it's all here. Ah, yes. You're always welcome here in Lostwing. You know what you have to do. I won't let you down. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? that they might live even should Lostwing die. Then I must remain, for now, and hope that there is still time to save them. Clyde, as you know, our time grows short. Before we... Thank it you. is the... And oh. I might... But I would have... And so, will you... I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. I'll search the village one last time for any stragglers. Then join Master Quinton and get some justice. I'll search the village one last time for any stragglers. Then join Master Quinton and get some justice. Those who cannot join us in the coming fight are gathered at Gotan's Bales. I would ask that you see them to safety. I'll search the village one last time for any stragglers. To Gotan's Bales then, and quickly, before anyone else finds them. Those who cannot join us in the coming fight are gathered at Gotan's Bales. I would ask that you see them to safety.
Everyone. Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid. None of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Oh, fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die! No. We can't let this happen. Sid! Don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. I still haven't paid Quinton back for saving my life. So don't let him die. Not yet. I still haven't paid Quinton back. Please, Sid, you've got to catch up with him. Don't let all our work be in vain. Please, Sid. The man is to the east of Lostwin, through the woods. Quinton and the others will be halfway there already. You have to hurry. The man is to the east of Lostwin.
Tell me I'm too late. Quinton, are you all right? No, but I am alive. which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died for nothing. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But. Your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. Is it over? This is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice, my faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You, you're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I. I tried to warn you about that, that thing. And I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Lost wing. My lost wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just 
before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool! to get back to Quentin. Quentin! Quentin! Look at me! Thank the Founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lostwing... The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quinton. Save your strength. 
Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah, and all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why, just a village. We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please. I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. They are right. You know, Lost Wing can be rebuilt. It was more than a mere village. More than a staging ground for revenge. It was a vision of how life might be. Of how we who have suffered can come to find family again. They are right, you know. Lost Wing. I'd have followed Quentin to that manor if I could have done, and I'll keep following him now. Wherever that surly bastard cares to lead us. I'd have followed Quentin to that manor. Quentin's gonna build us new Lost Wing, and I'm gonna help. Quentin's gonna build us new Lost Wing, and I'm gonna help.
Cole said it was an army of Akashi. What will happen to me? How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with Akashic and the valleys are full of ether? Expecting you back, so here you are. All done. the prince we were to dine together or so I was going to suggest before he vanished that is I suppose now I'll just have to ask the bard master Sid have you seen his highness the prince we were to dine together do you think this ship will ever sank? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, I shall already have read it. I'd better keep looking. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me it is all... That leather looser was only the first of... Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but uh, you really shouldn't be in here. If Mid caught you rifling through her research, she'd have your head. Then mine, for letting you. Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but... What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Sid's best invention. Sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure runs. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. You 
Equestrians in the tub and crown, where it's always been. Equestrians in the tub and crown, where it's always been. Will you be heading back to Canberra soon? You let us know if you need an escort.
work here is done. Lord Marquess, you seem unwell. I know his grace has asked that I remain here with the people. If it's knowledge you seek, I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. Like this. started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Don't waste here, the further the flagship sails. 
I have to get back. You reckon there's any more treasure in the orchestrion? Only one way to find out. You reckon there's any more? Clive? Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... Fair enough. But when you got a moment, you come back and find me, yeah? Oh, that's... It's such an... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge, then. You come along when you're ready. moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. You're probably right. If she says she's fine, then who am I to doubt her? What's time? I know better than to order Taya to do anything, but I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Say whatever you must, but get her to rest. I'm not physical enough to fill her shoes should we lose her. Say whatever you must, but get her to rest. Well, Taya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. 
I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvant, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. If it was me lying there, I know he'd do me the same kindness. If it was me lying there, I know he'd do me the same kindness. Go on then. They're all waiting for you. You wouldn't want to say I'll catch you. Sorry to drag you into this again. You're the only one he'll open up to. Sorry to drag you into this again. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know. But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. Very droll. Well, do let me know if you reconsider. See, I've how I'm more idea. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can?
Those who encountered this mobile in Rosaria claim it was as large as a house. Think of all the ether it must have consumed to attain such a prodigious size. Its vines will be bursting with untold vigor. Those who encountered this mobile in Rosaria 